So who better to get immediate reaction from that report than former Kansas Governor Bill Graves, the CEO of the American Trucking Association. He joins us now exclusively. And Bill, what do you think? I mean, you were listening to all that. Do you think that there are signs of a recession ahead or even that's already begun? Well, you know, we, we don't think so. We think we're going to slog through some really slow, uh, uh, you know, sort of ineffective economic times. And, and of course, the storm in the Northeast is going to be a drain this quarter. But, uh, you know, a lot of rebuilding is going to take place, and so that alone will perhaps add a little uptick uh, into the next quarter. So it's, you know, it's anyone's guess, but we're, we're expecting sort of flat economic activity for the next two or three quarters. So what do you see that gives you that indication? Because I know the type of trucks that you see out there on the road indicate specific things that are going on in the economy. Give me some nitty-gritty details. Well, I mean, uh, again, uh, the unfortunate aspect of, of, a, of a storm like we've had in the Northeast is, is that you're going to have a whole lot of activity in the flatbed segment of our industry because a lot of people are going to be moving a lot of construction type materials. Uh, we have to restock every grocery store shelf with anything that was perishable. So a lot of refrigerated units are going to have to move food uh, back into the into the grocery stores. Uh, let me give you a specific example: automobiles. We understand that there may be as many as 15,000 automobiles at the port of Newark that are basically, uh, you know, they're salvage. I mean, they're, they were new cars that were caught in the in the flooding. Those cars wow. are going to have to be moved out, disposed of, and we're going to have to manufacture, import into the U.S. to the port, and then move probably by auto transporter cars to dealerships all over the Northeast. That's not to mention all the cars that were damaged in the flooding itself and are going to have to be simply replaced by consumers who no longer have a, a viable automobile. Wow. Um, what do you see in terms of fuel? Because obviously that's been a huge problem in the Northeast and it's something that you depend on. Well, I mean, you know, fuel prices, of course, are high everywhere, but, right. but we're, what we're about seeing availability? fuel. Well, we're getting fuel to every place that we can physically be allowed to, to move fuel. Obviously, there's, the first need is to make sure utility vehicles have fuel, emergency responders have fuel, and I think for the most part, those needs are being met. In the meanwhile, it's going to take a little time before we bring everybody's local filling station back online because some of them are simply not accessible, or even if they are, they don't have power to, to, to pump fuel. Yeah. Before the storm hit, did you feel like things were picking up? Um, I don't know that I felt things were picking up again. We, you know, we thought that, that, that freight, you know, freight levels were pretty well flat for our industry, and that's a, that's a broad you know, description of cars and consumer goods and, and food and, and fuel and um, chemicals. But uh, you know, all in all, we expected to slog through probably until about the third quarter of next year before we saw any chance of some uptick. And what are your customers saying to you going forward? Well, the, the first concern we have is, is we still have a problem in our industry with drivers, and if we do see some recovery in the economy, we may have a hard time putting people behind the seats of commercial trucks. It's a tough job, and it's, it's, it's hard to fill. Secondly, fuel really? is going to continue Really? Even to be given the unemployment rate we see in this country and, and people who are you know, at the point where they've been unemployed for a long time and they're looking for a new career, you're still having a hard time finding drivers? Yeah, and that you 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 know raised a great point. It's just it, one. It's a really hard job. There's a lot of training that has to go into it. There's a lot of scrutiny now on safety and the performance of drivers, um, and therefore it just kind of combines to be a job that doesn't look all that uh, desirable to a lot of people. So yeah, even with this these unemployment numbers, it's still a problem for our industry. Wow, Bill Graves, a lot of great information. Thanks for coming on. I learned a lot.